um, just wanted my grandchildren to be able to enjoy <laughs> what Bubby does during the day when they're not around. My grandchildren have allergies to bunnies and kitties. So we don't do this stuff around grandchildren. And it seems to work okay. I, ch I change my clothes before they come in the, before I go in the house. And I get to have bunnies and they get to breathe. <laughs> Great program. I also found for any of you, um, trying to figure out how to get rid of junk in your house is if you wear things that have stains on it or whatnot and you could just throw out your clothes after you shear your rabbits <laughs> for all the rabbit shears out there in the world okay this is a very matted little French girl and she um Obviously isn't feeling any pain because I'm not restraining her in any way But I'm cutting out the mats first and what I'm going to try to do and I maybe will show all of you is I am going to attempt to um, Make a novelty yarn out of the clean mats. I just want to see Doesn't cost me anything since we got our wool producer here, so It'll be a fun thing to find out if those mats are usable because if they are, then maybe you don't need to be so picky or at least um, if you're buying Angora, then maybe you could pay for, you could buy something that's not exactly prime and come up with a very, um, ex I don't want to say exotic. What I mean, there's not a thing about me that's exotic. A very artsy, that work, yarn from what would normally be considered the trash because there is not a part of the bunny that is going to be coarse. Like if you were to have what would be considered trash in an alpaca, the neck and legs can be very coarse as coarse or coarser than a coarse long-haired sheep so um, yeah so I'm just gonna check it out to see if bunny seconds or thirds or fourths are something we might want to hang on to for funness sake but when something is real pristine I'm not inclined to make a lumpy bumpy yarn out of it because I'm I like the calmness and the sort of zen-like state you get into when you're spinning an even yarn. But sometimes, I'm feeling for mats here, sometimes the fiber on the bunny was, it was necessary to leave on the bunny at a certain time because you she was pregnant and you wanted to make sure she felt free to pull to leave a nest or didn't know what the weather was going to be or sometimes you go on vacation <laughs> or um, it was canning time or something and brushing out mats was not a priority and that's how it was for me it was kind of all the above so I am just taking off the mats and saving the really clean ones that are maybe just around her neck or around her thighs, but then chucking the stuff on her feet or her bum. And I'm going to see if I can make a really fun yarn. My thoughts are, is that it would make the most awesome hat. If you can see, I got kind of funky hair to start off with and so I got really poofy hair and so if I put on a knit cap that fits snug or is um, well it's got to fit snug enough to stay on obviously but then if the knit on it is real thin then I kind of I'm not used to my head being small and it just seems 
horrible. Like I'm walking around with hat head when, um, when I don't need to. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm not used to having hair close to my head because that's not what God had in mind for me. So I am going to try to make a very fun yarn, a very warm yarn, so that I can utilize the clean mats. May work, may not. I'll keep you updated. And my head will be warm but not flat. Oh, I just love this kitty. I can't have kitties out in the house either because of allergies and a husband that doesn't like animals much. So in my shop is my little, or studio, whatever you want to call it, what sounds less hoity-toity shop. Um, I can have kitties come roam and rabbits roam. And because I am an absolute mess, you can see by my pants, nothing goes in the house with me. So I don't expose other people to the look at kitty pretty kitty so I don't expose other people to the allergens I'm also allergic but I take shots because I love my critters so um, yeah so that's what I'm doing I'm cutting off mats and then I will groom her and see if the rest of the fur should be cut off maybe that she loses it all but I also want to see, have people see how happy bunnies are. Just I'm sure it just feels like when you go to the salon and oh, they never want they never massage your head because time's money and all that kind of thing. You just think, oh, can't you just rub my head for a minute while you shampoo it? Anyways, <laughs> I am this. I'm sure this is what it's like to the bunny because why else would she sit here? doing absolutely nothing she's healthy she's about she hops around her cage but when I'm trimming off mats and brushing her she's very sedate like she wants it to go on and on maybe I'll get a good tip <laughs> I tip well at the salon if they rub my head I should probably put that tell them that ahead of time huh oh I should tell them that ahead of time you'll get a better tip if you rub my head Okay, well, there you go. Just wanted you, to, the kitty's right next to the camera now. Wanted you to see this baby, and I'll update you on what um, a yarn might be with spinning mats, and I will then update you with what I made out of it. And if it's really, really ugly, it will become probably a cat bed <laughs> because my cats love my bunnies, like, like their fam litter mates, not like their something tasty to eat. Well, there you go. Okay, bye-bye, bunny. Bye-bye, bunny. Bye. She's cute, isn't she? They're all so cute. Bye-bye.